Oh, I guess you can see Joseph. I thought I was going to have to move. But it looks like you can see him. Good morning. God bless you. Uh, blessed Wednesday and feast of St. Faustina. Been changing around which page I post from and I went back to the big main page because I was able to reach more people but then everyone said they saw ads so I don't want you to have ads during a rosary and Facebook started blocking me there anyway <laughs> so I'm back posting from my major my my the big post comes out from mornings with Mary and then we'll cross post it here and see if this works. Today is the Feast of St. Faustina. At the end of the month, I'll be traveling to Poland to visit friends and to try to find a vendor for our Polish books. To kind of reconnect with my people there. Oops. But it's so beautiful because I have a priest friend in Belize who um, built a chapel, like a shrine to divine mercy for um, addicts. It's a place of healing for those with addictions. And we've been concocting for years <laughs> about different relics or statues or things that we could get for him. But he managed to get permission to have a relic of St. Faustina, and um, I'm finally able, after like a year or two, able to go back to Poland, and I'm going to be staying at the shrine with her sisters in, her, in the convent where she lived, and um, I have a letter to be able to pick up that relic for him, and then we'll figure out getting it to Belize, but such a big blessing i'll be transferring saint faustina's relic i've got a little relic here of her that was given to me by some polish um, people that i met in medjugorje um, with a prayer and it's from the shrine as well but it's a third class relic i'll be getting a first class relic goodness gracious yesterday when i did that rosary it lit my rose on fire. I didn't realize that it burnt my rose, and it looks like it's burning these roses too. My poor roses. <laughs> too much going on, right? So you have just a minute to get your rosary and your... I'll pull it up. I don't want my roses burned. Okay. Um, to get your rosary and coffee always, right? And we'll pray and in between the mysteries today, as always, we'll honor St. Joseph like we are what we do on Wednesdays. But then also in between the mysteries, I'll read reflections from um, St. Faustina's diary. This morning I spent quite a bit of time in prayer and I prayed for passages and marked the first five I got for you guys. So it was the Holy Spirit himself who chose these to share with you. So we'll begin here in a minute. We continue to pray for our work all over the world. I was really struck this morning as I was begging, as always, for the money we need for Afghanistan. These poor children, they don't even know the Hail Mary in their own language. And... Uh, I realized as I was reading St. Faustina's, um, St. Faustina's diary, how she was really assigned by God to um, spread this mission of divine mercy. And my book, Mornings with Mary, will also be the first time, I mean, that these poor people in Afghanistan pray the Hail Mary in Dari, that they learn, you know, that basic prayer but they also will learn the Chaplet of Divine Mercy, which is in this book that we use every day here. We kind of take these prayers for granted. And so I was saying to St. Faustina, if your mission is really to spread divine mercy all over the world, then you want it with children who are persecuted in Afghanistan and hiding 
So get me the funds. <laughs> so we ask her intercession today. We still need several thousand dollars. Um, I sent the first thousand dollars on my own just to get the translation going and the printer said he'd print it knowing that the money would come later. Um, but we can't complete the printing or pay for transportation until other people help as well. So we ask as a great gift of mercy today from St. Faustina and good St. Joseph, who's their spiritual father, to provide that funding. And we continue to pray in Thanksgiving for baby Francis, who was born in Pakistan yesterday. His parents chose life instead of abortion because of my books. And they didn't know anything about St. Francis, but they named him Francis, and they didn't know it was his feast day. So it shows how the Holy Spirit's working in the Middle East. So we continue to pray for gifts and graces of mercy and love there for North Africa and Uganda, for Colombia, for Mexico, for Belize, for Brazil, for Puerto Rico, for India, for Poland, and for Russia. Right? I have possible Russian translators now. They're also Muslim. All my translators that are Muslim translate my books and convert. <laughs> so we pray that God continues to do his, his incredible work. And we pray for those who are ill, for Levi and Liam, for Charlie, for Colton, for Aubrey, for Jonathan. We pray for those with addictions to overcome them. For those who are confused in what is right and what is wrong, to have clear consciences, we pray for those with dementia and Alzheimer's, those who are aging. We pray for those who are unforgiving, those who are bitter, um, those who cause division. We pray for the conversion of Russia, for the triumph of the Immaculate Heart in Russia and in our own homes and families and lives. We pray for an end to the war in the Ukraine. We pray for the Cardinal in China that the Lord may send him comfort. We pray for the victims of natural disasters all over the world, remembering Pakistan now, just devastated by floods for months and months. These people have nothing, and they don't have a government that will help them. We pray for the victims of the hurricane in Florida. We pray for all of those who are facing financial instability that the Lord may provide. And um, we pray for all of the priests and for our special intentions for the missions. Um, on Wednesdays, we remember missionaries in a special way for our families, for those needing healing or conversion, those expecting babies, um, those longing to conceive, those longing to adopt, those in foster care, orphans, the rejected, the unloved. And for children who are exposed to evil, especially this time of year, we pray and offer this rosary in a special way in reparation for the sins, the, the, the outrages against um, innocent life and the innocence of children by exposing them to evil, that God does not like that. And against the Eucharist, as I was going to bed last night, the Lord asked that, just I remember to mention that. Um, the, you know, the outrages against his Eucharistic heart, especially in this month of October around Halloween. Um, you might say that's all superstitious, but I worked in the exorcism ministry. I've worked and um, helped victims of satanic torture and those who left the cult to um, convert to Christianity. And they um, only tried to steal and desecrate Catholic hosts because they know that's truly Jesus. And just outrageous things happen um, in the name of fun, but it's not fun or funny. So we pray for innocence to come back into our world where evil's not glorified and innocent life is not taken and Jesus is not desecrated. So we remember those things in our rosary today. Um, and we start with our daily offering, right? In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Oops, what is the, I'm sorry, before we start, the name of the book I just showed, um, Mornings with Mary. So that's my, the book that I wrote with all of the prayers we use in this rosary. Um, and I did it because Facebook started blocking me and people really missed the prayers. 
So each day we pray, you know, whatever the church asks on Wednesdays, it's always to St. Joseph. And all the prayers I use are in this book. You can find it on Amazon. So it's called Mornings with Mary, and it's just a rosary prayer book. So, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. O oh, Jesus, in union with your most precious blood, poured out on the cross and offered in every Mass, I offer you today my prayers, works, joys, sorrows, and sufferings for the praise of your holy name and all the desires of your sacred heart and reparation for sin, the conversion of sinners, the union of all Christians, for all of the intentions of my heart and for our final union with you in heaven. Amen. My queen and my mother, I give myself entirely to you. And to show my devotion to you, I consecrate to you this day. My eyes, my ears, my mouth, my heart, my entire self without reserve. Wherefore, good mother, as I am thy own, keep me and guard me as thy property and possession. Amen. And we courageously pray that, pray that prayer of Jabez, Oh, that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my territory that your hand would be with me and that you would keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father, the Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We pray for Pope Francis, for the cardinals, the archbishops, bishops, and the priests who work for them. We pray for their physical and spiritual protection, their intentions, for their continued conversion, for humility and integrity, for wisdom, knowledge, understanding, right judgment, courage, fortitude, mercy, gentleness, and love. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase of faith, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase of hope, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase of love, charity, and conversion. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. On Wednesdays, we pray the Luminous Mysteries. And the first luminous mystery is the baptism of Jesus in the Jordan. We ask the Lord for the grace of baptism for children who've been neglected and not been baptized, for Muslims, for those who were neglected spiritually that, um, as children and are now adults and searching for the truth. We ask that we can live our baptismal promises in a more profound way and radiate that life of being a child of God. And we read from St. Faustina, 
I went at first before the Blessed Sacrament and offered myself with Jesus present in the Most Holy Sacrament to the Everlasting Father. Then I heard these words in my soul, and this is Christ speaking to St. Faustina. Your purpose and that of your companions is to unite yourselves with me as closely as possible. Through love, you will reconcile earth with heaven. Through love, you will reconcile earth with heaven. Every time you love, authentically. And what is love? Love is patient. Love is kind. Love isn't jealous and it isn't rude, right? Every time you do an act of love, you reconcile earth with heaven. And you will soften the just anger of God. You will plead with mercy for the world. I place in your care two pearls very precious to my heart. These are the souls of priests and religious. You will pray particularly for them. Their power will come from your diminishment. So the more we make ourselves little, the more the Lord will put his power in the mouths and in the lives of his anointed ones to convert people. You will join fasts, prayers, mortifications, labors, and sufferings to my prayer, fasting, mortification, labors, and sufferings. And then they will have pow power before my Father. So as we unite all of these aspects of our lives to Jesus. We trust that he will give his own power to those who he's chosen in the world. The baptism of Jesus. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us a stay, our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, 
Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The second mystery of light is the wedding at Cana. In this mystery, the married couple presented their their need to our lady who interceded for them. And she went to Jesus and said, they have no wine. And he provided from something ordinary, water. He changed it into wine, knowing full well that later he would change the wine into his blood. This is what we're doing in these words of St. Faustina by imitating what the Lord asked of her, we're bringing, what does it say, our labors, our words, our sufferings, our joys, and we're uniting them to Christ. We're bringing him what's ordinary, and we give it to him through the hands of his mother, our lady, right? The statue I have here today is the Rosa Mystica. She has many titles. And we're asking for our lady to then present it to Jesus and say they have no what? Particularly today, mercy. The world needs mercy. And he's going to take what's ordinary in our lives and change it to something extraordinary as a gift for the world, right? So in this mystery, let's focus on, on doing that for him. St. Faustina said, All night long I was preparing to receive Holy Communion since I could not sleep because of physical suffering. You know, how long do you spend preparing for Holy Communion? My soul was flooded with love and repentance. And after Holy Communion, I heard these words, You see what you are of yourself. But do not be frightened at this. If I were to reveal to you the whole misery that you are, you would die of terror. However, be aware of what you are, because you are such great misery. I have revealed to you the whole ocean of my mercy. So to the degree that we recognize that we need Christ's mercy, is a degree that he can place it in our lives. I seek and desire souls like yours, but they are few. Let's pray for the grace to these souls like St. Faustina. Your great trust in me forces me to continuously grant you graces. You have great and incomprehensible rights over my heart, for you are a daughter of complete trust. The more that we trust Jesus, the more we entrust to him in this rosary, the more that he will not say no because he respects and honors the trust that we put in him. You would not have been able to bear the magnitude of the love which I have for you if I had revealed it to you fully here on earth. I often give you a glimpse of it, but know that this is only an exceptional grace for me. My love and my mercy 
knows no bounds. Don't be afraid to ask anything of Christ, thinking that it's too much. His love and mercy knows no bounds. And then she heard these words, Know, my child, that for your sake I grant blessings to this whole vicinity. Just because of his love for us, when we respond to that love, he can bless our whole neighborhood, the whole world. But you ought to thank me on their behalf, as they do not thank me for the kindness that I extend to them. For the sake of your gratitude, I will continue to bless them. In this mystery, let's also thank the Lord for his goodness to those who do not deserve it, who do not recognize his hand in their lives and do not love them, him the way that he needs to be loved. The wedding at Cana. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. Russian, Radusia Maria, Blagada Tipolnaya, Gaspot Stavoye, Blagoslavien Natinez Dejonami, I Blagoslavien Plachireva Tvayevo Isus, Svetaya Maria Matir Boja, Malisana Skrishni, Mini vcha smirti nashi amen. Polish. Strovash Maria waski pauna panstabo. Bogoswaviona shtinian zenevasami. I bogoswavioni ova chivota tvayego jesus. Shventa Maria matka boja. Murlshe zanami chishnimi. Terra sivko gina i shmirti nashi amen. Spanish. Dios te salve Maria, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italian. Ave María, llena de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Tu sei benedetta fra le donne, e benedetto il frutto del tuo segno, Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccatori, adesso nell'ora della nostra morte. Amen. Latin. Ave Maria, grazia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Gesù. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Russian. Radusia Maria, Blagadati Polnaya, Gaspot Staboya, Blagoslavian Natinez de Jonami, I Blagoslavia, Plachereva Tvayevo Isus, Svetaya Maria, Mater Boja, Malisa nas grešni, mini vča smirti naši amen, polež. Strovaš Marija, vaski pauna, pan s tabo. Bogoslavjona štinjen za nevastami i bogoslavjoni ovo čevota tvajego Jezus. Čventa Marija, matka Boža, murlše za nami kšešnimi, tera si v godina i šmirči naši amen, spanič. Dios te salve, Maria, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre, Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros, pecadori, ahora y la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italian. Ave Maria, llena de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Tu sei benedetta fra le donne, e benedetto il frutto del tuo segno, Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccatori, 
del son de la de la nuestra muerte. Amén. Latin, Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus, fructus ventris tu, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in hora mortis nostri. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, sicud erat in principio et nunc et semper, Ed in secula seculorum. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven. Help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit. Come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The third luminous mystery is the proclamation of the gospel, the call to conversion, and the healing miracle. Jesus said to St. Faustina, You will not be alone, because I am with you always and everywhere. Near to my heart, fear nothing. I myself am the cause of your departure. Know that my eyes, excuse me, follow every move of your heart with great attention. I am bringing you into seclusion so that I myself may form your heart according to my future plans. What are you afraid of? If you are with me, who will dare touch you? Nevertheless, I'm very pleased that you confide your fears to me, my daughter. Speak to me about everything in a completely simple and human way. By this, you will give me great joy. I understand you because I am God. I am God-man. This simple language of your heart is more pleasing to me than the hems composed in my honor. Know, my daughter, that the simpler your speech is, the more you attract me to yourself. And now be at peace, close to my heart. Lay your pen aside and get ready to leave. What is it you're afraid of? Jesus wants you to tell him. What is it that you need? Jesus wants you to trust him. What is it that you desire? Jesus wants you to ask him. The third luminous mystery, the proclamation of the gospel, the call to conversion, and the healing miracles. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be <clears throat> to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave. Ave Maria. The fourth luminous mystery is the transfiguration of Jesus on Mount Tabor. The gift of the divine mercy that was given to St. Faustina is a gift of transfiguration given to the world. We defaced ourselves. We... Um, you know, defamed the image of God and our souls, but in our lives through sin. And the gift of divine mercy transfigures us. It heals us. It corrects it. It fixes it. You know, I often say that, like, you can't take a rose and rip a petal off and then glue it back on. Because he created us once, he recreates us. And what we're remembering today is a great saint who gave to us a message from Christ, a message that's as old as the gospel and the cross itself, but a message that God wants to recreate us. Just as powerful as a miracle as our first creation was in the womb of our mom, when he knit ourselves together and he breathed his life into us, the same kind of a miracle happens every time we go to confession. Our sins are removed. 
the thorns are removed. Every time we receive the Eucharist and his blood and body become ours. Every time we do an act of virtue, we soak in prayer and adoration in that gift of his divine mercy. We ask for that blood and water to wash on us. We are recreated. In this mystery, we really ask that we be transfigured. And not just us, but everything around us by God's active gift of mercy in our lives. You know, as we forgive people who've hurt us, not just being like, I forgive you, right? But like genuinely love them, do what Christ did, like pray for them, desire their good. You know, if they have the humility to come back into your life, not to hoard, you know, hold something over them, just pretend like it didn't happen, right? Forgive them, love them. You know, put a little bit of modesty on their act of repentance. Smile. And if you forgive others, God will open up the torrents of his mercy all the more to you. So beautiful. As I stare at this crucifix on the other side of the room, it's of his bloody presence. What a gift of mercy. What a fountain of mercy we were given on the cross. And St. Thomas of Solano said, Exhausted, you sought me, crucified, you saved me. May your wounds not be in vain. We pray for a transfiguration of our lives. And let's see what Christ gave us for this mystery. He said to St. Faustina, well, St. Faustina said to him, right, Oh, it's so beautiful about forgiveness. It's so long, though. So let's just start here. Oh, Jesus, I want to bring souls to the fount of your mercy to draw the reviving water of life with the vessel of trust. So we have to trust to be transfigured, right? The soul desirous of more of God's mercy should approach God with greater trust. And if her trust in God is unlimited, then the mercy of God toward her will all likewise be limitless, O oh my God. Who know, O oh my God, who know every beat of my heart, you know how eagerly I desire that all hearts would beat for you alone, that every soul glorify the greatness of your mercy. So if in order to be transfigured in the mercy of Christ, we have to live trust, let's try today every step you take to say, Jesus, I trust in you. Keep that as the echo in your heart the entire day. No matter what you're doing, you could be cleaning, you could be cooking, you could be, right? Try to just repeat that all day. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus responds to her saying, my beloved child, delight of my heart, your words are dearer and more pleasing to me than the angelic chorus. All the treasures of my heart are open to you. If all of the treasures of Jesus' heart are open to St. Faustina, we ask for her to make up for our lack of trust, to intercede for us, for the graces that we need, personally and for the whole world. Take from this heart all that you need for yourself and for the whole world. That's what he said to her. We ask her prayer. For the sake of your love, I withhold the chastisements that are just, which mankind has deserved. A single act of pure love pleases me more than a thousand imperfect prayers. One act of pure love gives Jesus that much joy. One of your sighs of love atones for many offenses with which the godless overwhelm me. The smallest act of virtue has unlimited value in my eyes because of your great love for me. In a soul that lives on my love alone, 
That's what we want to do is live on his love alone. Just like Therese always talked about. And a soul that lives on my love alone, I reign as in heaven. I watch over it day and night. In it, I find my happiness. My ear is attentive to each request of its heart. Often, I anticipate its requests. A little child, especially beloved to me, apple of my eye, rest a moment near my heart, taste of the love in which you will delight for all eternity. But child, you are not yet in your homeland. So go, fortified by my grace, fight for my kingdom in human souls. Fight as a king's child would. And remember that the days of your exile will pass quickly, and with them the possibility of earning merit for heaven. I expect from you, my child, a great number of souls who will glorify my mercy for all eternity. My child, that you may answer my call worthily, receive me daily in holy communion, and it will give you strength. My daughter, do not be afraid of what will happen to you. I will give you nothing beyond your strength. You know the power of my grace. Let that be enough. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Russian. Radusia Maria, Blagodati Polnaya, Gaspod Staboyu, Blagoslavia Natinez Dejonami, I Blagoslavia Plochereva, Tvayevo Isus, Svetaya Maria, Mater Boja, Malisa Nas Grishni, Nini Chasmirti Nashi Amen. Polish. Strovish Maria Waski Pauna Pan Stabo. Bogoswaviona Shtiens and Evastami. I Bogoswavioni Ovo Shavota Tvayego Jesus. Shventa Maria Matka Boja. Moodle Shizanami Shishnimi. Terasif Gojina I Shmerci Nashi Amen. Spanish. Dios te salve Maria, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y a la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italian. Ave María. Piena de gracia, el Señor e con te. Tu se benedetta fra le donne, y benedetto el fruto del tuo seno, Jesu. Santa María, Madre de Dio, prega per noi pecadori, adesso en la hora de la nostra muerte. Amén. Latin. Ave María, gracia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus, fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri, Amen. Russian. Radusia Maria, Blagadati Polnaya, Gaspod Staboy, Blagoslavia Natinez Dejonami, I Blagoslavia Plachereva Tvayevo Isus. Svetaya Maria, Mater Boja, Malisa Nas Krishni, Nini Vcha Smirti Nashi, Amen, Polish. Strovash Maria, Waski Pauna Pan Stabo, Bogoswaviona Shtinyans and Avastami, I Bogoswavioni, Ovo Shavota Tvayego Jesus, Shventa Maria, Matka Boja, Moodle Shizanami Kshishnami, Terra sif gojina i shmerci nashi amen. Spanish. Dios te salve Maria, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, 
y bendito es el fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros, pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Atalia. Ave María, piena de gracia, el Señor y contigo. Tu se benedetta fra la donne, y benedetto el fruto del tu Señor Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, prega per noi pecadores, adesso en la hora de la nuestra muerte. Amén. Latin. Ave María, gracia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu en mulieribus et benedicta. Frutus ventris tu Jesus, Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, sicud erat in principio et nunc et semper, Ed in secula seculorum. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The fifth luminous mystery is the institution of the Eucharist as a foreshadowing of the cross. In this mystery, we remember how every time that we go to Mass and we celebrate the Eucharist, we're entering in again to Calvary. And as I said at the beginning, we offer this mystery and this rosary in a special way in reparation for the sins committed against the Holy Eucharist, the sacrilege, um, the demonic desecration that happens, especially around um, the evils of Halloween. We ask for the Lord to have mercy on those who desecrate his gift to us. We pray that the graces that he desires to give the world that are rejected, the graces through the Eucharist, his Eucharistic heart may be given to us, that our love for him may be inflamed, that we may center our lives around his presence. Jesus said to St. Faustina, Chosen souls are in my hand, lights which I cast into the darkness of the world and with which I illumine it. As stars illumine the night, so chosen souls illuminate the earth. The more perfect that a soul is, the stronger and more far-reaching is the light shed by it. It can be hidden and unknown, even to those closest to it. And yet its holiness is reflected in souls, even to the most distant extremities of the world. Look, St. Faustina, St. Therese of Lisieux, even St. Joseph were unknown at their own time. And yet God has used them to shed such a powerful light to the ends of the world. Today the Lord said to me, Daughter, when you go to confession to this fountain of my mercy, the blood and water which came forth from my heart always flows down upon your soul and ennobles it. Every time you go to confession, immerse yourselves entirely in my mercy with such great trust, so that I may pour the bounty of my grace upon your soul. When you approach the confessional, know this, that I myself am waiting there for you. I am only hidden by the priest. 
that I myself act in your soul. Here the misery of the soul meets the God of mercy. Tell souls that from this fount of mercy, souls draw graces solely with the vessel of trust. If their trust is great, there is no limit to my generosity. The torrents of grace are inundate humble souls. The proud always remain in poverty and misery because my grace turns away from them to humble souls. In this mystery, we pray that we may have the humility and the trust needed to have the Lord turn his merciful gaze upon us to make us a perfect soul, to make us chosen lights in this world, even in the obscurity of our daily lives. The institution of the Eucharist and the foreshadowing of his cross. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, 
save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we set up our sighs mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee, that by meditating on the mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain all that they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection implored thy help or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, our Mother. To thee do we come, before thee we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer us. Amen. O Saint Joseph, whose protection is so great, so strong, so proud before the throne of God, I place in you all of my interests and desires. O Saint Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O Saint Joseph, I never weary contemplating you, and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in my knee, kiss his fine head for me. Ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. O Saint Joseph, terror of demons, cast thy solemn gaze upon the devil and his minions. Protect us with thy mighty staff. You fled through the night to avoid the devil's wicked designs. Now with the power of God, smite the demons as they flee from thee. Grant special protection, we pray, for children and the unborn, families and relationships, work and ministries, homes and possessions, persecuted Christians, priests and the dying. By God's grace, no demon dares approach while you are near. So we beg of you, St. Joseph, always be near to us. Amen. St. Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Seraphim and Cherubim, thrones and dominions, virtues, powers, principalities, archangels, and guardian angels, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O princes of the heavenly host, by the divine power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit. Angels of God, our guardians dear, to whom God's love commits us here, ever this day be at our side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. We pray for the souls that have died and our families, our friends, our benefactors, those we've worked for, those who've lived in our homes, our neighborhoods, our parishes, and those in most need of our prayer. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and may your perpetual light shine upon them. 
May their souls and all the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Eternal God, I offer to you the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the Masses said throughout the world for all the holy souls in purgatory, sinners everywhere, those in the universal church, within my own home and within my own family. Amen. And St. Patrick's Breastplate Prayer. I arise today through mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the creator of creation. I arise today through the strength of Christ's birth with his baptism, through the strength of his crucifixion with his burial, through the strength of his resurrection with his ascension, through the strength of his descent for the judgment of doom. I arise today through the strength of the love of the cherubim, in the obedience of the angels, the service of the archangels, the hope of resurrection to meet with reward, in the prayers of patriarchs, predictions of prophets, in the preaching of apostles and the faith of confessors, in the innocence of holy virgins and the deeds of righteous men. I arise today through the strength of heaven the light of the sun, the radiance of the moon, the splendor of fire, the speed of lightning, the swiftness of wind, the depth of the sea, the stability of the earth, and the firmness of rock. I arise today through God's strength to pilot me, God's might to uphold me, God's wisdom to guide me, God's eye to look before me, God's ear to hear me, God's word to speak for me, God's hand to guard me, God's shield to protect me, God's host to save me, from the snares of the devil, from temptations of vices, from everyone who wishes me ill afar and near. I summon today all these powers between me and those evils against every cruel and merciless power that may oppose my body and soul, against incantations of false prophets and black laws of pagandom, false laws of heretics and the craft of idolatry against spells of witches and smiths, wizard saintness and warlords, and against every knowledge that corrupts man's body and soul. Jesus Christ to shield me today against poison and burning, choking and suffocating, destruction and accidents, pestilence, infestation and plague, against drowning and wounding, sickness and calumny, against disobedience, disrespect, greed, confusion, misunderstanding, calumny, jealousy, competition, blocking and division, rash or false judgment, laziness, apathy, vanity, selfishness, violence, tantrums and pride, against anger and lust, dishonesty and betrayal, denial, abandonment, unrepentance, rejection, indifference, unfaithfulness, and against every other evil that could come against me or those for whom I pray. So there may come to us instead an abundance of reward. Jesus Christ be with me, Jesus Christ before me, Jesus Christ behind me, Jesus Christ in me, Jesus Christ beneath me, Jesus Christ above me, Jesus Christ on my right, Jesus Christ on my left. Jesus Christ when I lie down, Jesus Christ when I sit down, Jesus Christ when I arise, Jesus Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me, Jesus Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks of me, Jesus Christ in every eye that sees me, Jesus Christ in every ear that hears me. I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through belief in the threeness, the confession of the oneness of the creator of creation. Amen. On this Wednesday, we pray a consecration to St. Joseph's holy cloak and to his heart. O glorious patriarch St. Joseph, you who were chosen by God above all men to be the earthly head of the most holy of families, I beseech you to accept me within the folds of your holy cloak that you may become the guardian and custodian of my body and soul. From this moment on, I choose you as my father and brother, protector and defender, counselor and guide, patron and provider. And I beseech you to place in your custody my body, mind, heart, soul, emotions, memory, past, present, and future. 
my family and relationships, home and possessions, finances, my work and ministry, my vocation, all that I am, all that I possess, my life and my death. Look upon me as one of your children. Defend me from the treachery of my enemies, both visible and invisible. Assist me at all times in all my necessities. Console me in the bitterness of my life, especially at the hour of my death. Say but one word for me to the divine Redeemer, whom you were deemed worthy to hold in your arms, and to the Blessed Virgin Mary, your most chaste spouse. Request for me those blessings which will lead me to salvation. Include me among those who are most dear to you, and I shall set forth to prove myself worthy of your special patronage. O glorious patriarch and patron of the church, virgin spouse of the Virgin Mother of God, guardian and virginal father of the word incarnate. In the presence of Jesus and Mary, I choose you this day to be my father and guardian, protector and defender, provider and guide. O great Saint Joseph, whom God has made the head of the most holy family, accept me, I beseech you, though utterly unworthy, to be a member of your holy house. Present me to your immaculate spouse and ask her also to adopt me as her child. With her, pray that I may constantly think of Jesus, serving him faithfully till the end of my life. O terror of demons, increase in me virtue. Protect me from the evil one. Help me not to offend God in any way. O my spiritual father, I hereby consecrate myself to you in faithful imitation of Jesus and Mary. I place myself and all of my concerns under your care and protection. To you, after Jesus and Mary, I consecrate my body and soul with all their faculties, my spiritual growth, family and relationships, home, possessions, finances, work, ministry, vocation, and all of my affairs and undertakings. Forsake me not, but adopt me as a servant and child of the Holy Family. Watch over me at all times, especially at the hour of my death. Console and strengthen me with the presence of Jesus and Mary, so that with you I may praise and adore the Holy Trinity for all eternity. Amen. The Litany of St. Joseph. Lord of mercy, Christ of mercy, Lord of mercy, Christ hear us, Christ graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, renowned offspring of David, pray for us. Light of the patriarchs, pray for us. Spouse of the Mother of God, pray for us. Chaste guardian of the Virgin, pray for us. Foster father of the Son of God, pray for us. Diligent protector of Christ, pray for us. Head of the Holy Family, pray for us. Joseph, most just, pray for us. Joseph, most merciful, pray for us. Joseph, most humble, pray for us. Joseph, most meek, pray for us. Joseph, most chaste, pray for us. Joseph, most modest and pure, pray for us. Joseph, most prudent and wise, pray for us. Joseph, most strong, pray for us. Joseph, most gentle, pray for us. Joseph, most courageous, pray for us. Joseph, most obedient, pray for us. Joseph, most faithful, pray for us. Mirror of patience, pray for us. Lover of poverty, pray for us. Model of artisans, pray for us. Glory of the home life, pray for us. Guardian of virgins, pray for us. Provider of those who trust in you, pray for us. Pillar of families, pray for us. Solace of the wretched, pray for us. Hope of the sick, pray for us. Confident in trials, pray for us. Patron in the dying, pray for us. Terror of demons, pray for us. Protector of me and of the Holy Church, pray for us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, O Lord. He made him the Lord of his house and ruler of all his substance. Let us pray. O God, in your loving providence, chose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother. 
grant us the favor to give have him for our intercessor in heaven, whom we venerate as our defender and provider on earth. You who live and reign world without end. Amen. And at the end, we'll pray the Chaplet of Divine Mercy in union with St. Faustina today. We offer it for poor sinners. We offer it for those in most in need of forgiveness. We offer it for the intentions that are most ardent in our hearts. And we trust with St. Faustina that what we ask of the Lord is ours. O Jesus, eternal truth, our life, I call upon you and beg your mercy for poor sinners. O sweetest heart of my Lord, full of pity and unfathomable mercy, I plead with you for poor sinners. O most sacred heart, fount of mercy, from which gush forth rays of inconceivable graces upon the entire human race, I beg of you light for poor sinners. O Jesus, be mindful of your own bitter passion. Do not permit the loss of souls redeemed at so dear a price of your most precious blood. O Jesus, when I consider the great price of your blood, I rejoice at its immensity, for one drop alone would have been enough for the salvation of all sinners. Although sin is an abyss of wickedness and ingratitude, the price paid for us can never be equaled. Therefore, let every soul trust in the passion of the Lord and place its hope in his mercy. God will not deny his mercy to anyone. Heaven and earth may change, but God's mercy will never be exhausted. Oh, what immense joy burns in my heart when I contemplate your incomprehensible goodness, O oh Jesus. I desire to bring all sinners to your feet, that they may glorify your mercy throughout endless ages. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the entire world. O oh, fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O oh, blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. In remembrance of the crown of thorns he wore in his head and around his heart and the wounds they caused, we pray. Eternal Father, we offer to you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. In remembrance of the wounds in his shoulders and from the scourging, we pray. Eternal Father, we offer to you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. In remembrance of the wounds in his hands, we pray. Eternal Father, we offer to you 
the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion of mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion of mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion of mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion of mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion of mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion of mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion of mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion of mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion of mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion of mercy on us and on the whole world. In remembrance of the wounds at his feet, we pray. Eternal Father, we offer to you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion of mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion of mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion of mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion of mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion of mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion of mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. In remembrance of the wound in his side, from whence blood and water poured forth as a fountain of mercy upon the entire world, we pray. Eternal Father, we offer to you the body and blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion of mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion of mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion of mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion of mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion of mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion of mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion of mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion of mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion of mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, King of my heart, I trust in you. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Jesus, ufam tobia, Isus, ya upavayuna tibia, Jesus, confio in te. Jesus, eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. O greatly merciful God, infinite goodness, today all mankind calls out from the abyss of its misery to your mercy, to your compassion, O God. 
It is with its mighty voice of misery that it cries out. Gracious God, do not reject the prayer of this earth's exiles. O Lord, goodness beyond our understanding, who are acquainted with our misery through and through, and know that by our own power we cannot ascend to you. We implore you, anticipate us with your grace, and keep on increasing your mercy in us, that we may faithfully do your will through all of our life and at the hour of our death. Let the omnipotence of your mercy shield us from the darts of our salvation's enemies, that we may, with confidence, as your children, await your Son's final coming, that day known to you alone. And we expect to obtain everything promised us by Jesus, in spite of all of our wretchedness. For Jesus is our hope, through his merciful heart, as through an open gate we pass through to heaven. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make our hearts like unto thine. O sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us, immaculate and sorrowful heart of Our Lady, pray for us. Our Lady of Good Remedy, pray for us. Our Lady of Consolation, pray for us. Our Lady of Perpetual Help, pray for us. Our Lady of Mercy, pray for us. Our Lady Rosa Mystica, pray for us. Our Lady, the never-ending blossom, pray for us. Good Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Faustina, pray for us. Blessed Fathers Ange and Father Sapotko, pray for us. All of you holy angels, pray for us. All of you martyrs, pray for us. All of you saints, pray for us. Saint Charbel, Charles de Foucault, and Miriam the Little Arab, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Thank you for praying with me today. God bless you, and may your trust in God only increase so that the miracles that he does in your life will only increase.